Hi right, guys, thanks for tuning in once again. Uh, today we're going to do a tank review. Uh, we're going to do the iJoy Maxi V12. I've uh, been dying to get my hands on one of these, since I have bought uh, an RX300 recently. And thought it was the perfect tank to go on it. So this is what we're going to go over. I'm going to put this on to about 200 watts first of all. And uh, we'll have a quick break first. Loads of clouds, lovely. Right then, how do we start about this? First of all, lovely looking device. Really nice looking piece of kit. Lovely colours. Uh, I think it comes in a stainless steel, the black, uh, a rainbow and a gold as well. Yes. Now this is what I'd call a super tank. It is 60 to 305, I think it is, watts. So more than capable of handling the RX, definitely. And uh, Now, I wasn't a fan of the Limitless XL. Uh, it didn't do it for me. So I wasn't too sure how I would react to this tank. But what we'll do is we'll have a quick breakdown, go through the box, uh, and I'll give you some pros and cons, and we'll go from there, okay? Right then. Here's the box. This is how it comes. Inside the box, obviously, you have the tank, which comes with the V12 coil pre-installed, which has six coils, um, oh, sorry, six holes and 12 wires inside, so you're getting quite a bit in there. Inside the box, you get your little screwdriver, a bag full of loads of goodies, including tank rings, um, a 510 changeable if you want to put your own drip tip on here, if you don't like the ones, and some pre-made coils as well. You get your massive piece of spare glass, absolutely huge. You get your RBA, these are the bits I can never get out, should have got them pre out. This is a three prong RBA system. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a fan of it. Uh, I did put a build in it, I did take it back out because it just bends the coils, you can't put them in straight. Uh, it doesn't fit nicely. That personally, this is the only bit of the kit I'm really never going to use. I wasn't a fan at all. But there is a perk that we'll go over later on. I will discuss that with you shortly. And you also get the XLC4, which is a four coil. Which, if you can notice, is quite a bit smaller. We will go over why, don't worry. Alright, just chuck it all over there, put that away later. Okay, with the tank. It is a 28 mil tank, so it is a huge tank. Uh, 5.6 mil capacity, which obviously 20th of May guys, we're not going to be able to get hold of them. Uh, going the same way as normal with Phil now, you push the cap forward and it flips up. Spring loaded. I've got your little fill cap, I know it's black so it's not the ideal. A little fill up point there, uh, the same as the smocks. One thing I'm not happy with is they've made a 28 mil tank. Why on earth is the fill hole so small? Or at least put an air hole on the other side so you don't get the air bubbles. If you've got the bottles with the nibs on the end, not a problem. But when you're trying to put a pipette in there, guys, I'm getting the air bubbles. It's going everywhere. I'm not too happy with that bit. Okay, first of all, let's go over some of the coils. Obviously, I've got the V12 in here at the minute. Absolute monster. Yes, it can go up to 300 watts, but I find about 200, it's nice and warm, it's not too much, it's a nice vape. Personal preference again though, guys. Alright, obviously I just told you about the RBA. We're going to go over this coil very specifically. Because on this coil, if I can get it off, here we go, you get this piece which is a very handy little piece of kit because it allows you to put other coils from other tanks inside, i.e. the XL tank. So now put if you have loads of XL tanks, um, coils lying about, brilliant. You can just screw them into this and they will go into the Maxo, which does increase the capacity as well of fluid. I'm not too sure by what, I haven't had the stats for that yet. But the main thing I'm happy is where I don't like the RBA from the Maxo, I will be taking the Limitless XL, pulling it in this, Straight in, lovely. We'll do the job perfect. Fair play to him for doing this. You do, first manufacturer I've actually seen do something like that. I'm very happy with that. Okay. What else can we really talk about it? Like I said, it is a meaty tank. You do need a big device for this to go on. 
Um, the airflow, huge airflow on it. And I'll be honest with it, fully open, it, it's actually too easy to suck. I'll be honest, my, my peak for it is halfway, but halfway, perfect for me, absolutely love it. Uh, we'll go over some pros and cons now. Um, cons with it is, if you've ever had the Limitless XL, you know this gold bit inside actually holds the glass to the chimney, as opposed to the base that we're used to with other devices. Once again, they've made the ridge on the bottom so small, it's actually really hard to get out. And even if it's nice and loose, it tends to come out with the bottom then. So I wish they put a little bit bigger of a grommet on there for you to grab or just something for you to grip at least. Um, the top fill, I do love the top fill, that is such a simple design. But I've been using it for a little while now and it seems to be getting a little bit wobbly uh, more than when I got it. So I don't know how long, if it's going to last or not. Um, I was worried because where you push it forward to lift it open, I was worried about it coming loose in my pocket and stuff like that. Alright, granted, I haven't put something that size in my pocket yet. But through trying it and everything like that, I've never had a problem. It does stay locked. It is quite a firm click to keep it there. And this V12 coil is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I do own the Cloud Beast King, the V12 on that. Out of the two, definitely this one. I think performance for clouds are around the same on both. This offers much better flavour. 100% much better flavour. The TFE 12, I, I think it would last you longer, I will be honest. I think the build quality is a bit better on the TFE 12. But like I said, with the adapter and everything you get with this kit, you can't fault it. It is a damn good kit. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Well, um, just try to think now, make sure I've gone over everything. Obviously, like I said, it will go up to 300 and odd watts. I'll be honest, I don't know anyone that does. Like I said, yes, my device will do 300 and the tank will do 305, but 200 is more than enough for me. I don't need any more than that. Massive clouds. Um, yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope I covered everything. Um, like I said, if you're watching this on Facebook, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're watching this on YouTube, come join us on Facebook. We have giveaways, reviews, advice, and general chit-chats. Get involved. Uh, sorry, one thing I haven't mentioned is these are going for around 49 99 uh, they do tend to be just a little bit cheaper than the TFE 12 as well. So, personal preference, guys, but I would actually use this over the TFE 12, purely because of the flavour. I think that's the only dividing point for me, even with the pin and all that. It's the flavour that's pushing it for me, guys. All right, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you again shortly. Have fun, guys.